Hi, I'm Dr. Shah. I was the National Lecture Competition winner in 1989, and I'm the Maths Master at Maths School. Now, ready for a new way of doing maths? Again, we've got a rational equation, we've got fractions, and again, we want to put brackets around any sums, any plus or minus signs inside the fraction. Multiplying by the denominators to get rid of the fraction, so my first denominator is this divided by x, so times x. So the divided by x and the times x cancel each other out. Here I'm just left with 2. When you're multiplying a fraction, you're actually only multiplying the top of the fraction. So on the top of the fraction I get x over x plus 2. And here again I'm multiplying, so I'm multiplying the top of the fraction, I get x on the top of the fraction. You can see I haven't got rid of all the fractions yet, so I'm going to have to multiply again by this denominator to try and get rid of that fraction, so times x plus 2. Here the divided by x plus 2 and the times x plus 2 cancel each other out, so I'm left with minus x there. And here again, when you're multiplying a fraction, you, the multiplier goes on the top of the fraction, so I get x, x plus 2 over 3. I still haven't managed to get rid of all the fractions. I've still got to divide by 3 there, so I'm going to have to multiply through every term by 3. So times 3 here, times 3 here, times 3 here. 2 times 3 would give me 6. 3 times x gives me minus 3x. And here the divided by 3 and the times 3 cancel each other out. And so it gives me x, x plus 2. OK, so I've managed to get rid of all of the fractions. A lot harder this time because I had a lot more fractions in the original equation. But I carry on now to the next step of multiplying out the brackets. So I'll just copy my equation that I've reached so far up to the top here. And I'm going to multiply out the brackets. So that gives me 6x, and 6 times 2 is 12, minus the 3x, and then multiplying out these brackets, that's going to give me x squared plus 2x. So I've multiplied out the brackets, brackets are all gone. Now I've got to collect the terms. Well, before I do that, I'm just going to simplify. And whenever you're solving an equation, while you're working through it, simplify as you're going along. So I've got a 6x minus a 3x here. That will simplify. 6x minus 3x is 3x. And now I'm going to collect all the terms to one side. So I'm going to minus this 3x from both sides. So that 3x disappears there. Here I'm just left with 12. I've got a 2x minus 3x, which is going to give me minus x. And then, I, again, I'm still trying to get all the terms on one side, so I'm going to minus that 12 from both sides. I'll just rub these out, make a bit more space. And the 12 and the minus 12 cancel out, so I'm left with 0, x squared, minus x, minus 12. And again, I've got a quadratic, so to solve that quadratic, I'm going to have to factorise it. I'm going to have an x at the front of each bracket to give me x squared. To get minus 12, maybe I could try minus 4 times 3. So minus 4 times plus 3 would give me minus 12. And let's just check that works. x squared plus 3x minus 4x. 3x minus 4x is minus x, which is correct. And then minus 12, that's fine. And when you've got your quadratic equal to 0 and factorised, you know that either the first factor has to be 0 or the second factor has to be 0. So if x minus 4 is 0, x would have to be 4. And if x plus 3 is 0, then x would have to be minus 3. And so those are my answers, and that's my rational equation solved.